pads, uh, you know, get to see what the guys can do once they're in that uh, game type situation. What did you see today? Well, yeah, I thought, uh, like I said, put the pads on, just slow down a little bit. You know, but we got to get some guys that play a little bit right here, so it should look that way. You know, I thought the receivers made some plays, and uh, you always got to keep getting better. You know, I thought uh, overall, I like the way they ran around, I like the way they handled themselves, and uh, we just got to continue every, every day coming out. In spring, you know that mistakes are going to come. How important is it to have fast mistakes? And which guys are going 100 miles an hour if you're going to make a mistake, well, do it at full speed? Yeah, you will make in the first two or three days, you will make some mistakes. But after that, you get corrected. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a lot, to be honest. I mean, I thought it was pretty clean, but uh, you know, moving forward, we got to eliminate uh, any mistakes, MAs, and, uh, and keep moving forward. But, uh, you know, like I say, I like what I see to this point. And, you know, we just got to come out every day and continue to get. And unfortunately, in the spring, you only got 15 shots, and now we're down to 12. So. You got 12 opportunities to come out and get better, and you got to take advantage of one of them. Chase Hancock, a guy that's been invaluable for you all for the last couple of years, and I know that it's a veteran linebacker room, but how important is his leadership ability to that room and his playmaking production last year? Well, he's just, I mean, I think he's the best linebacker in the league. He's been all conference a year ago and wasn't, but he's a tremendous player, tremendous leader. Just does everything right. Uh, he's in Artis Johnson the same way. That's a good room. A lot of guys in there that, uh, that uh, you know, football is important to them and the way they go about their business, they do it the right way. You never know he was a linebacker if you just spoke to the kid, would you? Which one? Who's the Chase. Oh, well, I mean, when he, uh, he steps on the field now, he good plays. And, uh, he's got such a great attitude, he's such a tremendous kid. And, uh, he's a good player because of it. Look at Tyree, and, and you know, Tyree was fast last year. It seems like he's got another gear, sort of like what we saw with Tyler King on uh, Tuesday, Thursday. It seems like he's got another twitch to him. Yeah, you know, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's had another year in the weight room. And, you know, he's, he's a good player, you know, you know what he can do. And he's just, but, you know, the thing about Tyree, he likes football. I mean, he gets out here on the field and he just goes to work, and uh, he's, uh, he's a good player. He's fun to watch. Armani Levias, a guy that last year came in and sort of, you know, was feeling things out and didn't seem like he was up to speed with everybody else. And it looks like a completely different human being out there this spring. Yeah, so a lot of times those junior college kids, you catch yourself all the time saying, well, gosh, I just went to Richard and that kid who had been a really good player for two years. You look back at Arnold Blackman and, and those guys we've had, their junior college kids, sometimes it takes them a year to develop and advance, and that's kind of what was with him. I mean, he's starting to I like what I see out of him right now. I thought Xavier Gaines is making great strides. Cody, and I like the young kid, Devin Miller. So all four of those tight ends, uh, you know, I like. they got, they got a lot of potential. He's got to keep getting better. Doc, how, how, you know, it's not only players, but you're folding in staff. Into this spring, how how has that process gone? Yeah, it's been pretty smooth. You know, I mean, I got the tremendous coach. I mean, Tim's done a great job offensively, and you know, Greg's a guy has got great experience. It's back, and of course, Adam. You know, it's a little different as far as coordinator is concerned. But he's been here five years. So, you know, Byron's a great addition. So I like I like where we are staff wise. And, uh, you know, we got to keep getting better as a staff and keep getting better as a team. Okay, pretty day, huh? Yeah, beautiful.